Hey Fragrance Junkie Gang, welcome back to the channel and if you are new, welcome. I wanted to switch it up a bit here on the channel and briefly talk about wax warmers and also give you guys a review of a fragrance that I like from Kringle's Country Line and it is their White Birch and Rain fragrance. There are three types of warmers that I'm familiar with. The ones that use a bulb, the plug-in electric ones without a bulb, and tea light warmers. Here in front of you, my green wax warmer is an electric one that does not use a bulb and then my white and gray warmers are tea light versions. They come in different styles, sizes, and price points and are easily available online and in stores. So it's up to you which one fits your budget and decor, but the options are endless. You also want to keep in mind which type of warmer you want. Do you prefer a flameless option or are you fine with purchasing and using tea lights? I personally prefer the tea light warmer as I found I get better strength and throw from my wax melts compared to using my electric warmer. Depending on the wattage of your warmer and how hot it gets, it can affect the amount of fragrance output you get from your wax melts. When it comes to the tea light method, I use either a 3 hour tea light or a 6 hour tea light with my warmers. The middle white warmer has a 3 hour tea light and as you can see the thicker tea light on my end warmer, the gray one, is the 6 hour tea light. I purchased my tea lights from Michaels and a pack of 50 60 hour tea lights is around the $6 price range and I can get 100 3 hour tea lights around that same price point. My green electric warmer is from Walmart and it was less than $15. My middle tea light, the white one, was from Family Dollar. I spent less than 5 bucks on that one and my larger gray one I purchased off of Amazon for less than $20. Keep in mind, using a 6 hour tea light can result in one melt session from your wax melts. With a 3 hour tea light, I can sometimes get up to 3 uses from 1 to 2 cubes of wax melts per melting session. For my smaller wax warmers, I use 1 cube on each and for my larger warmers, I use 2 cubes. Wax warmers are a great way to enjoy home fragrance and sample different scents. They are very low maintenance and easy to use. Some electric ones even come with a timer, so no need to worry about keeping an eye on it as much as you would have to with a lit two wick or three wick candle. There is also no need to worry about sooting or dirty wax pools. After use and once the wax is hardened and no longer has fragrance, I pop my warmer into the freezer for about two hours and when I remove it, I wait about a minute or two and I use the flat end of the handle of a spoon and gently pry the wax from the edge of my warmer. Some wax is easier to remove than others. They also sell disposable wax cups that look like mini coffee filters, but popping mine in the freezer works just fine for me. I'm more of a candle burner than a wax melter, so I'm patient enough for the freezer method. Wax melts are also easily accessible whether you buy them from a vendor online, Walmart, Goose Creek, Kringle, or Yankee, and they're more affordable than some candles. Now let's discuss white birch and rain. If you watch my channel, then you know I am a lover of fresh fragrances. I love a good lavender and eucalyptus scent blend, even the ones that lean on the heavy herbal side or have a camphorous scent profile. To me, these types of fragrances serve as a stress relief, relaxation, or spa-like aromatherapy. To some, fragrances like this can lean a little astringent to the nose, so I would recommend a fragrance like White Birch and Rain to those who don't mind fresh aromatic eucalyptus blends. The scent story states, cool frosted lavender buds join crisp white birch bark lifted with aromatic silver dollar eucalyptus and dewy greens. We have top notes of herbal and cool, mid notes of eucalyptus and lavender, and a base of musk and mint. Aside from the fragrance being cool and herbal with dominant notes of eucalyptus, lavender, and mint, there is a fresh, crisp, slightly sweet outdoorsy scent to this fragrance. Even though birch isn't a listed note, I do feel it plays a role in this fragrance and it provides a nice touch of woodsy earthiness in the background. This fragrance is sharp, camphorous, and to my nose has a touch of a sweet pine-like scent which will explain the dewy green that is mentioned in the scent description. A fun fact that I learned about birch is that it has been used in aromatherapy because it can soothe tension and stress and provide relief from cough and sore throats. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the scent of turpentine, but it has sort of the same scent of this candle and whenever I had a cough or sore throat, my mom would apply some of it to the pit of my neck and it would help relieve my symptoms. In my opinion, Kringle did a great job creating this fragrance and they picked the perfect name to match this aromatherapy blend. Some wouldn't consider this a fall scent, but the crisp coolness blended with the naturistic outdoorsy scent that I pick up on makes this a great scent for the cooler late fall transitioning into winter. If you like scents like the perfect winter from Bath & Body Works, then you may enjoy this scent too. 
For me, not every scent needs to be a bakery, pumpkin spice, or apple spice scent to be considered a fall fragrance. I believe fresh scents have a time and a place during different seasons when you need to clear the air in your home. I feel this is a great scent for the winter and post holiday as well. When it comes to the performance, for this particular fragrance, I was only able to use one cube of wax for a three hour melt session due to the lack of fragrance that was left. When I purchase my wax melts from Walmart, I usually buy the Better Homes and Garden brand or Sensationals and I typically get two to three uses out of their wax melts. That's not to say Kringle's wax melts aren't worth purchasing because they are definitely helpful when it comes to blind buying and sampling a scent before committing to a full candle. Kringle also offers mini candles called Daylights as a way to sample the scents. However, when the new fall fragrances were released, something was wrong with the machine that creates the Daylights which caused the wax melts to sell out super quick. I believe the daylights are still unavailable, but the wax melts may have been restocked at the time I'm filming this video. When it comes to the strength and throw, white birch and rain did not come to play. The strength of the scent is on the strong side and none of the scent notes are on the shy side. As I mentioned, this is an herbal camphorous aromatherapy scent that is air clearing, potent, and sinus clearing. To some that are sensitive to strong scents, this fragrance may be too much strength wise, but to me it's tolerable, it didn't become eye watering or headache inducing even when completing a closed concept melting session. I rate the strength at an 8 out of 10 and when it comes to the throw, the projection of the fragrance fell into the strong medium range. The scent stayed within the bedroom and filled out the entire room and was noticeable while I was present in the room as well as when I walked in and out of the room. I'd rate the throw at a 7 out of 10 in a closed concept, and that was while using one cube on my smaller tea light warmer. In my open concept, I used one cube on both of my smaller warmers, so two cubes in total, and I had one going in my living room and one placed in the dining room. The strength and throw were in the strong medium range, so I rated a solid 7 out of 10 in an open concept. The scent was very noticeable throughout my entire open concept without becoming overpowering. I could either purchase this in the medium size two wick jar or purchase more wax melts. I know scents like this aren't everyone's favorite, but I like it so I find it to be repurchase worthy. That's another great thing about wax melts. If you find one cube isn't enough, you can amp up the fragrance a bit by having two to four cubes going at a time. Just how with some candles, we rely on candle crocs, candle warmers, and hurricanes to get the most strength and throw. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you all enjoyed the mini review and if I can link any of the items discussed in this video, I will place it in the description box below. Until next time, bye!